audio, audio, screen capture, and the presentation, like a PowerPoint presentation, in its separate entity. And I'll show you how it works more once we go into it. So for you to do your presentation, it's quite good in that sort of sense. It's not just a video camera, it's the full package. And also it's available on your own computer as well. You can actually download it by logging in using your university login. You can download it and use it on your own computer. And also then upload it into an assignment folder that, that, that's then attached to the module. So then Richard can actually go for your recordings afterwards. Okay, so it's quite easy to use and it's quite straightforward in that sort of sense. So what, I'm going to get you to, what we need to do first of all, I don't know if you can see that up there, there's a web page that says Derby.cloud. If you want to take any notes or anything like that, if you've got your computers with you or anything, we can get you to log in straight away if you want to do that. If you don't on your home computer, it's called it's basically Derby.cloud.panopto because that's the name of the actual software. .eu, and you'll you'll notice when you go into that, um, it, you will go into the top corner and it will say sign in. You can see that, yeah, excellent. Just sign in, and there, that's and just below your name, there's a download Panopto. And if you click on that, you just download that to whatever machine you've got. So you've got four choices there. Forget about the remote recorder at the bottom. It's just the Panopto area here, and then you've got your choice depending what depending what uh, operation system you're using. Okay. Download it and install it. That's all you need to do first of all. Okay. Once you've done that, you'll then have obviously have the software, and this is what how it looks. When you first log in, when you first uh, click on it, it'll ask you to log in using your university login. Okay, normal university login, and then you'll get this screen here. What you see on here, you've got a choice of you've got a folder area first of all. Okay, you've got an area where you name your actual session. And then you've got different sources that you need to add to your video to actually to add to your um, the Panopto recording to create your video. Okay. So with the folder, first of all, I'm going to click on that. What you will have in your folder, um, you will only have two choices. Okay. For what I do as a job, I got I've got every single record every single folder in Panopto I can see, which is a pain because if I want to search for something, it takes me ages to search for it. But for yourself, all you'll have is the name. If you'll have one called My Folder, which is what it is, it's your own folder, okay? And then you'll also have the Module Folder with in brackets Assignments, okay? So you've got two areas that you can record into, okay? Um, and what I'll do, I'll show you in the module while we're here. I'm trying to go to it. What's the module? Uh, inflation visualization. I think I've actually signed up for it. Uh, information visualization right at the bottom. The there we go. You will see a folder that says when I when I bring it up. This is uh, tutor view, so this is not exactly the same what you'll see, but you'll see a folder that says that. Okay. So. That's the only two places. That's the only two folders you will see, unless you've done a different module and they've created another assignment area. Okay, I'm expecting you're only going to see two folders. Right. So, what I'd want you to record to first of all, if you decide to record straight to the assignment folder, you won't be able to watch back your recording. Okay, because what will happen as soon as you record it and as soon as you upload it it will drop it straight into that folder and you can't unfortunately go into that folder because it's an assessment folder. So you can't see other people's recordings and you can't see your own. Okay, once it's there, it's there. So I would recommend, first of all, you record into your My Folder. Okay. And what I'll do, I'll show you in a bit how you then you can move that. Once you're happy with it, if you've created more than one recording and you just want to pick your favourite, once you're happy with that recording, I'm going to show you how you can move that out of that folder and put it into the assignment folder. Okay. Again, this is all in the instructions in the module as well. I'll show you that in a bit. Give it a name, because if you don't give it a name, it'll just do date and time. Okay. Uh, we normally say student and student number. It depends what uh, you want them to do, Richard. 
it's up to you. Excellent. Okay. And then what you need to do is pick your primary source. You've got the choice of having video if you want to use video. Do you want your students to use video or it's, it's up to you? It's up to, it's up to them. Right, okay. So as you see, I've got a webcam here, so it picks up my webcam. Also, you've got to choose your audio. You've got to, I know this might sound obvious, but you've got to at least have audio. We have had people record before where we have not picked any, and it's just a PowerPoint video with no audio, which doesn't make any sense, really. Panopto will still let you record, even if you don't pick an audio, which is a weird sort of fault that it's got. So remember, at least pick your audio. Okay. As you can see here, you've got an audio representation. So make sure you're, you've got a good audio as well. Okay. Make sure we can actually hear you and you can actually see that it's, it's going to record a good audio. If you need to manage that, as you might turn it up and down, you've got a, a volume just here as well. Okay. And if I take video off, you'll, it just sits here. It just sits here instead, basically, okay, if you need to manage. Then what you need to do is open up your PowerPoint. Okay, you just open up your PowerPoint as normal. I'm going to see if I've got anything to show you quickly here while well, I've got a PowerPoint open. Okay, I'm just going to log into my 365, and I'll just show you with a PowerPoint, just so I've got, uh, let me just show you. What you do need to do, because I know if you if you use uh, 365 PowerPoint and use it online, I don't know if anyone ever uses that, it doesn't treat it as a normal PowerPoint, it just treats it as a, um, a web page. Okay, so if you wanted to use um, the Office 365, 365 PowerPoint online, then it won't recognize it as well as it would do if it was downloaded. Okay. Um, what it does do when it's downloaded, it actually recognises each slide in its own entity. So when the viewer watches it, they can flip from one slide to the next and move on that way if they wanted to. Say you're a, a student in a, in, a, in, a, in a lecture and you want to go to the, the bit that you missed, then you can go click on that slide. It doesn't do that with the online, it will do that with the, the, the downloaded version. Does it do basically. it with OpenOffice equivalent to PowerPoint or just with PowerPoint? Just with PowerPoint, basically. Yeah, just with PowerPoint. But it also what it also does, it records the screen as well. So even if you are using the online version, at least you'll have a screen recording of it, but you won't have the extra little bit that Panopto does for you. Okay. But I'll just give you an idea anyway. Okay, so if I get my recording back up again. So make sure your PowerPoint's ready, okay? All you need to do then is just press record, make sure you're recording, as you can, as you can see here. Put your PowerPoint into presentation mode. Make sure it is in slideshow mode, okay? Because then it, it, that's how it recognizes as individual slides, okay? And just do your presentation as you would normally go through it, okay? Once you're finished, like always, escape out. Find your Panopto, press stop. Once you've done that, it'll ask you recording complete. You can actually rename it from here, and you can add a description from here if there's any extra information you want to add to it. Once you've done that, upload it, and what you'll see is these two bars here. You see a blue bar and a black bar. That, that means it's uploading. You can't switch your computer off until they disappear. Once they've disappeared, that means it's uploaded and it's just processing on the server. Okay, this might take a little bit of a moment. Depend this is depending on your computer, basically, and, and, and how fast the uh, and how many people are using Panopto at the time as well, because it's uh, it is cloud-based, but it does go by which institute or how many people are using it in the university and things like that. Okay, 
So once they've disappeared, it's going to be processing. It won't be ready straight away. It will send you an email to your university email saying that now your view that your recording is ready to view. Okay. But what you could also do while you're on this screen here, which is the manage my recording screen, manage recordings, you can go to manage my recordings. If I click on that, that'll then take you back to the screen where we were before when you first downloaded it. What you can do then is go into my folder on the left hand side here and actually look at your recordings. So if you've created more than one, say you wanted to do three or four and then pick your best, this is where they will be so you can actually sit and watch them all. So all you need to do then is just click on it, like that, I don't know what this one is actually, <laughs> and just watch it, just like that basically. Okay. So yeah, so this is where you start managing your recordings and start moving them to the folder you need to move them to. Okay. So, say you're happy with this one here. Okay, all you need to do now is move it into the assignment folder. And all you do with that is you just go to settings. And where it says folder here, you just go to edit and you just pick the other folder. All you have, as it says here, for me, it says too many folders to show, uh, search for folders instead. I've got too many things it's going to bring up. Again, you will only have two, I'd say. So you, instead of picking my folder, you pick the, the, uh, the folder for the assignment. Okay. If you see your, your module greyed out, and it's got a little arrow next to it, what it sometimes does, it, it, does it, it sometimes does it, sometimes it doesn't, you need to click on the little arrow and that will drop down the actual assignment folder. Okay, so if you think, oh that's grayed out, it won't let me click on it, there'll be a little arrow next to it and that will let you then drop down, it's, it's another little thing that's a bit weird really. <laughs> it means that you can't record into the main folder because that's tutor access, but it gives you a second folder that gives you student access. A bit weird, anyway. So yeah, so you just find that for you, once you've done that, say this is the folder you just moved it to, once you've done that, you just save that, and then what will happen, that recording will move out of your folder and then into the assignment folder. Just for your own records, I'd recommend you create a copy. Just for you, if you wanted to keep the recording for your own benefit, something you could show to employees or whatever, I would create a copy. So to create a copy, all you do is go to Manage. Oh, I haven't saved my thing, let's be able to just save that. Okay, go to manage and then it just says here copy session and all you do you press copy and that will create a second version of it in your folder okay it's just so you've got your own record if you need to something that you can actually go back to and 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 watch in a, a, at a later date and one of the things you can do is on the outputs one so if you have recorded the video so yeah. you've got it up there of yourself you can actually change can. in a setting to say, actually, I don't want that video there available. I just want to have the PowerPoint on the screen. Yeah. Um, so with the output side of it, you can. You're right. Really you, quite you, nice. You can download it as a video if you wanted yeah. to, um, which then gives you different choices. So you can have. If you look at the original uh, Panopto here, you've got primary sources and things like that. It gives you those choices. Here, do I want primary video only? Do I want secondary video only? Do I want picture in picture? And then what happens is you just pick which one you want, pick your quality, it will process that for you. It won't give you it straight away because what it needs to do, the way Panopto works, it, it's all, all its different entities all sit at different parts of the server. So what it needs to do is bring it all back together and create that one video. Okay. MP4. Well, yeah, exactly, MP4. So once it's done that, it will then have an apply button here, and that will be, uh, sorry, a download button here, and then that will just let you then download it as an MP4. Okay, so if you wanted to keep a hard copy of it, that, that's something you can do as well. So it's, as I say, it's, it, it's quite straightforward to use. Any questions? Excellent. What I've put in here, just to give you an idea, I've, I've put in the module, I go to how you put it student materials, go put it student materials, I'll put it into Ah yes, I need to release it. But what I'll do I need to release this folder which I haven't released yet. There's two recordings in there. 
one about using it on a, on a PC and one about using it on a Mac. Basically, just show you. the Mac and the PC are the, they they do the same thing, but they look totally different mm -hmm. for some reason. Yeah. So um, it's just to show you that they've all got the same buttons and things like that. And they just look totally different. Okay. Um, but yeah, so that's all there for you. So what I'll do I'll do that now. Actually, I'll just release that bit. So it's been released. One thing, we're inside the Pat Not Toei sort of environment. Yeah. Is there any way of me tracking how many times people actually view any of the Panoptos or videos or anything? Yes, there is. Ah. There, you can, if you go back to your Panopto here, yeah. you can, I can't remember how you get there, not too long, I'll go to my folder, so I know one there. You can go to stats. Ah, so right. you can go to stats and you can look at who's watching it. Yeah. It's not as um, as detailed as, as you'd probably like, but at least it gives you an idea if you've got so many people watching it. I'm not sure right. what yeah. it'll actually give you. Um, yeah. Maybe it'll give you a bit more information on here. If I go up to here, this folder here, this might give me... Because you you've got one for each recording, so you can go to each recording stats, so there will yeah. be analytics for that. And then you've got ones for each. Um, you got one for the folder as well. Okay, so you can actually do it that way. But the problem is it doesn't break it up into no. individual watches, individual users. No. Well, I don't need Blackboard to worry. might do that though. It might do. It's yeah, like clicks and things like that. Yeah. Yeah. That's probably more talking to you, sort of learn, sort of Chris Bell and all that load of stuff yeah. to get the analytics for that, but. Blackboard should do that for you. With a bit of luck. Yeah. Okay, thanks. But yeah, it's, yeah. As you say, it's quite straightforward to use. Um, so, any more questions? Happy? Yeah, yeah quite happy. straightforward. Yeah, brilliant. Excellent. I will leave you.